to update on Friday. I didn't go back to that job uh, Friday. That was Thursday I posted that video about the uh, the boy talking shit, the supervisor, the boy talking shit at his job about uh, I was going not fast enough. So anyway, um, I have registered at other agencies, so I wasn't worried about it. And like I said, it's just like extra money. You really don't make that much, you know, maybe a, a hundred a day or something like that. And but some of those, like I said, a lot of those guys are homeless. So actually, that's why a lot of people be like, you know, not feeling sorry for them because it's not because they don't they're they're out of touch it's like no nah, we, we we know these people you know they stay in the shelter but they still work there so a lot of these jobs a lot of these construction sites those people out there might be homeless doing the stuff not running the machines doing the big jobs obviously they get paid good money but the ones out there just holding the signs and doing stuff like that but they make enough to get a room because a room is like what some of the, the ones they ain't got to stay in the posh place they already homeless they don't give a fuck about staying in the 45 dollar a night room serious i mean I, you know I, like i said i'd actually rather talk to them on the job than the rest of the people because of this gang stalking shit even though i know they're part of it but normally they'll back down and a lot of times they'll agree with me and i don't mean agree with me like kissing ass but they like i said they just know the same things i do but they actually tried it and it didn't work out in life they ended up going to prison now they're homeless but they're out but they're working and they're trying to do bad shit anymore so you know we had some things in common from the 90s and you know whatever oh uh, so basically the I think that's why they get mad because the gang stalking shit. <laughs> they, <laughs> I'm thinking they forget about it, and you know we just start naturally talking and talking, reminiscing, and talking about shit, having a good time while we're working. And then that part, being that we're temps, and like I said, most of them are you know I guess drug addicts, and, and you know it. You know I literally seen them doing in in, in at work on the job. You know that actually that was another funny joke. Because, uh, real quick, this was just a couple, about eight months ago, last summer, basically, like, literally 18, I went to the bathroom, and I, part of the gang stalking, this, 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 how, this how I know they're all criminals, to sue everybody, because this was part of, because I, I did have to use, because I drink a lot of water when it's hot, and this was a hot, it's middle of the summer, it's hot as fuck, and I, I just keep drinking, right, so they gang stalked about that, and they still are. Uh, they literally this that target job I was on the the bitch that was in charge uh, literally is saying something. That's why I said these are they superstitious like drinking too cold water too much too fast. You know because because we all if you read there is you know I think uh, something that happens if you drink too much. But that doesn't happen when you're constantly it's 99 degrees and you're sweating. You're not gonna drink so much that you get sick. And even in the cold, I learned. You know, you have to still keep hydrated, even though you don't feel thirsty and don't want to drink because it's cold. If you're out there doing physical shit, you're not sweating, but you still, you know, need to drink. You're going to expend it. It's not like, so, and these fucking idiots, uh, I, I don't know, some kind of, they think it's voodoo or something that all of a sudden is going to happen. It, it's just more insulting and <laughs> make me want to punch them, not like, oh, shit, don't put a curse on me. You know, something like that. No, I'm not superstitious. <laughs> you know, I'm religious, but not superstitious, first of all. So I believe in you need to be burnt at the stake. You know, for that witchcraft, trying that voodoo shit. So that's what I believe if you want to go there. But uh, anything, if you want to go to archaic beliefs, that would be my archaic belief. Not that it's going to work because you said it. So anyway, I think you're fucking idiots. So long story short. Another reason was, um, at the other place I had been, a guy, like I said, uh, sometimes <laughs> they forget, I don't know if they forget the script or, yeah, we, we kind of become fast buddies, so, like, four weeks ago, he hit me to, uh, the flagging, everybody knows what flagging is, you know, just the guy, you know, telling you at the construction site, he's like, that's, 
don't pay that good. But actually, the guy today was saying they do. He let that slip. Well, not really. It it, it depends. Um, so, um, for me, yeah. It, but he was saying it was like a backup plan because, you know, especially now, I, my assumption is getting summertime. It's going to be a lot of, they building a lot. I see I pass by them all the time, but different sites. And you know the guys. So, anyway, long story short, so Friday I didn't go. So, back to that place. And um, they mentioned it today because today is Sunday, right? Got a text Friday, Sunday to have them. They have them like twice a month, this place. This one place does. The flag. What happens is you have to be certified. You know, I'm doing the air quotes. Y'all can't see me. So, I mean, I guess it is real safe because you... <laughs> Everybody can get in trouble because you know these. Even though they're drug addicts, not all of them. Some of them, regular people, just need a job. Oh, you can't have them telling. You know, usually it's on them little two lane roads, one way, one way. So, you know, when they fuck up, and get their signals crossed. You know, that's a head on accident. But anyway, so you got to be certified by the little state, and basically you take the little course. So today you go in. It was, it was like started at eight. So, of course, I knew there's going to be stalkers in there. And lit- you could say, um, just listen, just hear me out, and believe me, trust me, just trust me. And they was, and it literally with me now, it's it's about me doing this, and I get my benefits. And they're, they're upset, especially the niggas. They really, well, white folks too. White folks too, man. Seriously. They, uh, like, I'm doing double dip, and I'm like, bitch, I asked. And like I said, I, to, I explained to them different things. And they fucking asked me, like, we're literally, like, you need to be, t-. you know, they don't say it like that, but they, you know, um, not like you have to be. That has nothing to do with it. But uh, not the people that do the paperwork uh, or the, uh, I had this, again, black people that she was, and I'm not, this not self hate, it's the gang stalkers. Uh, like, oh, ooh, you gonna get in trouble? Like, no, it doesn't work like that. I know the rules. I li- I don't go by what Leroy and Tamika says or or Biff and Becky. I don't go by to your coworkers. I go to the source to find out what can happen. I right? just I don't see what like a lot of people say. Why is it so hard? It's like when people argument in the in the comment sections of you know other videos of with major events. And some people like to say, then somebody calls them out. Oh, you're not a lawyer. You know, yeah, that, yeah. And it's like, oh, just whatever. Oh, you internet lawyer. And it's like, every, some people are like, why are y'all even arguing? Both of y'all can just Google it. I mean, nowadays, everybody knows Wikipedia can be edited by anybody. But have you ever done it? I haven't. I haven't went in there and changed nobody's page. <laughs> but I don't go in there because when I was in school, college, you know, the first thing to tell you, you can't use Wikipedia as a reference source. And that was in way back, early 2000s, but the gang stalking thing happened. But, so anyway, today, today, long story short, um, you know, it's a little class, and you just learning, the, you know, the, how to do the flag, you know, that I thought it was going to be real short, you know, because you don't think how much. You know, like I said, it's a lot of it going around here. So you see them. I see them every day. You know, I just always stop and make sure to pay attention. Um, Because we're not privileged like that. And, yeah, that is one of the uh, dig at society. <laughs> like, you know, ain't none of us running through it because you know what happens. You know, you get, get harsh. Get, you know, that's a whole nother story I can go into about all this stuff about the shootings and, like, why some people think they're fake and it's like it doesn't make sense because the people getting shot some of them are ex-felons right and the ones that we know personally they are extra careful so it they do and always the ones that had the videos they always nobody's saying you're supposed to cow cower but first of all they were doing stuff to get stopped and at least in the south not in new york i know they got beat cops you know most of them on feet so that's different and you know i guess like boston or something but anyway i'll, I'll keep going off long off subject uh so today and the one i, I can tell because he sits next to me when uh she tells us to 
you know, change the, uh, try to explain it. Basically, you know that how you have chairs movable to just regular office chairs set up the, the little quick ones. You can stack each other when it's time to clean up. Anyway, turn your chairs, right? So he sits, he turns his, first he's sitting away from me, but then he sits right next to me and turns it the way I had it because I, there wasn't that many people in there. So I turned another chair to use as a table. So he comes and literally right next to me and turn the table the same way then i could tell because he said things like belittling to me and um like that really again it's no snide that you really can't say anything about unless you're gonna look you can because you know some people people accept it you know they everybody will be oh well that that person's just high strung so but a lot of us don't like looking like that so if i would have called him on it Every time I said it, and plus he didn't say it directly to me, he just said it right after, real loud. Um, because one of the things Thursday on the job, you know, um, is I had cotton mouth, so it's like, um, and yeah, the water thing, right? So the water thing, they're uh, trying to be funny, like, uh, and I know it on the job, they, you know, they don't have, usually the jobs have water stations set up, they don't have it. Um, so anyway, I waited till lunch. Uh, and matter of fact, yeah, she's going over it today after the the class is over. It's fine. After all these years, they're going, oh, you're not required to get two 15-minute breaks and a 30. They're just only required to give you a 30. You know, because this is a conversation I had with dude Thursday, the, the guy who trained me, and uh, another temp. And... Uh, just, just some whole shit. These, these evil motherfuckers. I mean, the women, the men, white, black, the girl giving the class was white. It's evil. They all fucking evil, right? Um. So that Thursday, I went and just bought, you know, some some drinks. The little ninety nine cent Arizona, the big tall one, brisk. And uh, long story short, so she brings that up. But like I said, the dude who hit me. Four weeks ago to come back and take the little class because it's basically it's like a, a insurance to have something to do because what it is this place you might not you go in to find out it's not like other temp services you know where you're on a list and they uh call you we got a warehouse job you know it's temp to perm and like i said here it is a lot of people who don't need they just you know might come in one or two days so and i don't need permanent i'm not looking for permanent so they're you know that now they turn that into a thing because they're mad because you know they're like uh a lot of the jobs they're not paying enough for those people to stay there they, and i heard this like i get i get it from the horse's mouth they're like this don't pay enough i'm not staying here i'm just here for a couple of weeks or whatever here for and the guys they're mad like <laughs> like you gotta do something man and it's not like uh the the thing about like mcdonald's they raise the minimum <laughs> No, I mean, these people, this is hard, hard physical labor. You know, this mother might have to dig a ditch from here to there to lay pipe. And they want to pay like $10, 11 an hour and expect people to keep coming back. And they try to, you know, to sell you the dream. Well, if you keep coming back, you you can I started it. Yeah, with you, that, I mean, for these guys, I don't see that. You know, if I was them, I really would try to go do something to get a trade. Go to a school while you can. You know, they had them programs. They'll pay for y'all shit. You know, don't be don't be the one doing this. There's always a steady stream of people to come in daily and do this little shit. But don't try to be the one that they try to talk you into staying permanently. I mean, you might move up, you know. But I try to talk to them, and maybe they don't they don't stalk me about that. They so anyway. First thing was, I said, well, one of the guys told me it's hard to go to the bathroom when you're a flagger because, you know, you can't leave, you know. So that's normal to me. That's first thing, literally, like, the first two days in the military, they tell you, don't never leave your post, <laughs> literally. So, um, uh, he immediately said, oh, they get some depends, he, 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 you know, the guy next to me. And I said, fuck no, you know, I knew he was a gangster, but I didn't say gangster, but I shut him up. Because by the third time, no, by the time he said, 
what was the last thing? He only said two things to me, but after that the second thing, he shut the fuck up. He did. I, I said, oh, I see you on that bullshit. You know, that slave mentality. I said, no, basically, no, it's not going down like that. You know, as far as I'm not going to cause trouble, but it ain't no, oh, you better, I guess you better have some depends. And like, no, bitch, I ain't finna piss and shit on myself. And I know you joking, but you, I know that joke is fucked up. Everybody else joking the whole place. That's what I'm saying. It's not just me. Everybody else, the jokes are the same. Like, oh, we, you know, shit, well, that's not, like right here. They got a fucking porta potty. See what I'm saying? You know, but uh, he shut up after that. <laughs> He, he ain't say nothing else. He really did. And uh, when we was doing the, you know, you got to do the reenactment. That's why we was moving the chairs. You know, you're practicing, you know, the people walking by. They're supposed to be the cars. So we're holding the stop signs. And anyway, we had to take a little test. I knew it would be easy. And they said it too. They tried to be funny. Um, It would be, you know, mostly common sense. Oh, that's what he said. Something. The first time wasn't about the pens. We, me and a, another girl, a girl, we were joking about how we would stop the cars because, you know, you're supposed to saying, do the movements over exaggerate dramatically, you know, when you tell the motherfucker to stop, right? And the girl was like, yeah, I'm tell the motherfucker, you know, she was being funny, you know, I'm going to be doing all this, you know, make sure he stopped and, you know, and I was agreeing, we was laughing and he said, oh, they're going to be like, let's see your certification. You know, so trust me, why he said that, there's, that goes to them, that goes with the gangster of me being a know-it-all in their eyes, you know. Um, so by the, he said that, I didn't let that slide. I said, no, I wouldn't be here if, what I'm saying, what I said was, I wouldn't be at the site if I didn't have, so that's fucking stupid. And everybody laughed, made them, I made them look stupid right then. It's like, no, bitch, we wouldn't be out here. We didn't, all of us, they all kind of felt insulted. Like, bitch, we wouldn't be out to the... We went hadn't passed the test yet, but the point is, we wouldn't, if you don't pass, you're not going to be out there. So, no, are you trying to be funny, nigga? It, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not like you're going to be, oh, I got this little, tip. it's just, like I said, the, the dude explained, it's like a backup, because they need so many. So, it's kind of guaranteed, you know, if you just, you know. You can get wake up on a Wednesday. Oh shit! I I know I can get a quick hundred right quick legally, not go to jail tonight, you know, and uh, or prison um, for a hundred dollars. But uh, yeah, it might take eight ten hours or whatever. But hell, you know, whatever it's, it's exercise. But so anyway, he shut the fuck up then. <laughs> they gonna be in that NMC certificate. <laughs> Ain't no bitch, we wouldn't be out here, so you better stop the damn car. And like I was started, I've been told about uh, uh, construction zones. I won't say by who, but that's it goes. All of this is connected. This was years ago. It goes into how all, all this stuff about people getting shot and the cops after blacks and. And and criminals and like if you know real criminals, trust me, I know some of them. If you if you know your boy you went to high school with, he'd been in prison. You got him in the car, you know, years after, and you you know driving like you normally drive with regular people because they're not felons, <laughs> still on parole, and they piss a bitch like worse than your wife. You know how in the movies is a nagging wife. Oh, slow down. These are hardened feelings. Like, hey, man, slow down. Let me out the car. Seriously, I had dude. Let me out the fucking car. Like, man, we're not. Doing, we're way on the other side of town. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going back. You, you, you crazy. But I'm like, what are you talking about? You ain't see that sign? I'm like, what the fuck, you know? And it's like, so. Um, all that comes from what I'm saying is me standing there and, you know, you, you really are going to. You know, tell him, hey, stop, you know. But anyway, he's, basically, he's, because this thing is, you have to take this test, they're making it like, I'm going to make it like a big deal. <laughs> no, bitch. The dude hit me to it like, hey, there's a lot of work come in, you know, for this shit. It, it, you know, it might. Um, so, like I said, the second thing why I finally shut him down, I ain't call him Kunta Kinder by idea. I said, you're on that slave mentality shit. You know, I mean, he's a dark skinned dude. You can see how dark I am. About dark as me. 
but just lame as fuck, lame ass nigga. I mean, that, this ain't no black on black self hate. No, it, it, I love being dark. You know, I think y'all know that. That's why I am mad. I don't have no problem with fight white folks, black folks. No, that's how that's how I knew it was a fucking problem years ago. Like this shit, something is wrong. Like I said, I got help though. Instead of doing stupid shit. Then it come to find out it is. You see other people. I didn't find out to 2016, you know. So you can't say, oh, I jumped on a bandwagon. I saw it on the internet. No, bitch. I got proof. <laughs> like I said, that's why I don't have to work hard. Dummies. And it's not a brag. It's like, like I said, you try to trip. Literally, you tried, you tried something for my harm. And it worked for good, you know, because I didn't. I didn't fall for it the way you did. It did work. I, I'm man enough to admit that. It did work for years. It fucked me up. But it didn't work the way you wanted it to work. It was bad for me, real bad. But, oh, um, this is it. Like I said, it's like I trip you going down the steps. And, you know, I guess it doesn't hurt you bad. You know, sometimes you can fall, don't get hurt. But, it was on a, a property, and they saw it, and they so worried about getting sued that they proactively give you like fifty thousand. Now I'm mad, you know, and I'm the one who tripped you up. And it's like, you know, that's what that's the analogy of what y'all did. Like y'all wanted me to get fucked up. Now you're mad, you know. Oh, it's not fair. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. You know <laughs> what you really deserve. You getting, um, you know, I'm giving you a fucking pass, ho. You need, you need to chill the fuck out. I'm trying, I'm telling you, you, you know, um, shit, you know, I know what I'm talking about, nigga, shit. Like I said, your family gonna be on the news explaining how you was a good man on the, oh, he was a good guy. I don't know why he did it. <laughs> no charges, but I don't know what made him go off like that. <laughs> you know, and I'm just sitting there, hey, this crazy guy attacked me. You know, I'm, tell, I'm telling you, I'm working it out. It's gonna be like that one day. <laughs> like I said, your family gonna be on the news crying and news. I don't understand why would he would do that. I'm talking about you, why you would do that, and why I had to do you like that. <laughs> and you know what color T-shirts they gonna wear at your funeral with your picture on it. You know they get them. <laughs> how they gonna, they gonna have a memorial, place flowers at your shit every year on the same day that you died. <laughs> but anyway, so. I ended up taking a little certificate test, and I ended up getting a hundred. And so anyway, the the instructor she was gang stalking to, she calls it. She says, "Where's a you know?" She calls my name. And I I I knew I passed. I wasn't. I was a little bit worried, I'm like, but oh, um, she said, "Oh, very few people." I'm like, really on this test? Seriously, I'm not now. I'm not being funny. Like, <laughs> very few people get a hundred. And I know you're like, but you just said a lot of them are downtrodden. And yeah, yeah, a lot of them are young guys and young girls. And the only drug they might do is uh, weed, but they might do something else nowadays. Who knows? They do all that molly shit and, you know. So, anyway, the dude, yeah, he, the dude came in. He has khakis on. And uh, the dude I was talking about, the house nigga, normally I don't like... Well, yeah, nah, fuck all that PC political correct shit. This nigga was a house nigga, for real. It is, it is. I told you these motherfuckers sellouts, and he had the audacity to try to make it like I'm the one who's self-hating. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to help y'all. That's why I make these videos. And, uh, so, I left right after that. You don't have to stay, but I'm pretty sure n none of them got 100 because they was asking questions that really was starting to piss me off. I don't know, like this one woman, I think she thought she was being like me, asking questions, but she was asking questions that she literally said, I'm about to explain this. She said, well, what, is, what are the three, the three whatever the fucks? And the girl just said, somebody else would say it too. She says she's going into it. Right now, if you let her click the clicker and move to the next slot, and it's just, you can say, so, any damn way, so, I, I, that's what, I, how, I'm, I'm not being conceited, it, it, it's things when you just know something, and I, it's one of the things that's logical people know, 
I've been said that by other people. I said, no, that's not bragging when the motherfucker just knows something. You know, and that's why I said, holy shit, you know, it was dangerous to me. It was kind of a little frightening that people are stupid like that. They'll be the first ones to try to fight. They don't understand it like this. That, that motherfucker ain't bragging. It, it, if he literally did, <laughs> that's not a brag. He just... Um, and so, like I said, that's how I, 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 I knew it. I, I, I knew it and again. And being, so they got all these regular people and I could kind of see where they're coming with this. Like, um, what are you doing here then? If you're so smart working this and well, answer to that is thank your higher ups. When I tried to finish college, it, uh, it wasn't just physical ailments. It was, uh. You know, it turns out that I found out years later it's your gang stalkers. So they acting like having a, like I want a <coughs> degree, hell, it's pollen. Just to have a degree, you know, after I got out in the military. <laughs> like, like I explained, it's like I thought, you know, it's what we talked about while you was in the service, is what your higher ups in the service was telling us, you know, after, you know, shit, get you, you know, that was the whole point. A lot of us, the, Remember in the 80s when we were kids, you know, uh, the GI Bill, the GI, yada, yada, yada. And now it's the 90s, so that was the whole point. Why why am I, I'm not getting a, going to college just to say and lord it over people. Because first of all, you have to take the right degree. Otherwise, you you wasted four years. So thank, thank, thank the people that's hiring you. <laughs> you got me there. But usually on the job, I'm kicking it with you, trying to give you knowledge. And not uh, trying to outshow you. So that, so like I said, I, and the thing is, that's why I had been thought about this. So on the job, they're constantly trying to show me something. And it's like, what you're doing is not being smarter than me because you're showing me. They're always, hey, let me, let me show you, you know, show, you know, and the things I'll be telling you are things that have to do overall with the job. You know, uh, federal offenses, that, you know, your rights, that's what I'm telling you because we had to take this. Um, so, like I said, I'm not sure if the girl was wrong because she would say, oh, you're adults, you know, she was wrong for the way she said it. You're adults, you know, like, we shouldn't have to supply our own fucking water outside. You know, make sure you, 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 you no, no, all right. They're not required by state law. You might be right about that. Let's see what federal law says. I don't know. She might be right all the way around, but I, I don't think so. I think she's so hung up on being certified in this day because for some reason she kept going over it, which you could have just said once, this this little certificate is only good in this state, yada, yada, yada. But since y'all's, the problem really is about me saying something Thursday about the water and you know, instead of being grown-ups, y'all are the crybabies. I don't want, why do we have to supply water? Why is it so fucking hard? You the boss, you the lame, the, uh, the, uh, foreman. Send out Joe to, to fill up the Gatorade thing and put out the, the you know, the green, the, the, I mean, the orange thing. Um, shit, and fill it with, uh, ice and water. Why is that so fucking hard? It'll take ten minutes. I mean, delegate that. You don't know how to delegate authority. You know why you're trying to sound fucking smart, you stupid bitch. But uh, just, just, just dumb shit. But we'll see. Since y'all want to keep picking, we'll see how far y'all will really willing to take this, and, and see who's gonna take the fall. Cause like I said, I'm not gonna say, oh, they're gang stuff. I'm just gonna point out what you did wrong, and call the federal labor. Uh, because just because y'all think the first thing he told us these aren't military laws when we took those mandatory classes these are federal labor laws anywhere in the country any job you own on we, so it didn't matter we were privates or whatever it they still had to go by the federal laws they said these stuff that in this class we're telling you it was years ago obviously decades but um it wasn't he said this is not Army law or military law. This is federal labor laws that were telling the harassment. It was about harassment and all this and that, and mostly it was about sexual harassment in the early nineties, and it still is. But it was like when the, the all that stuff really started kicking off. This is way before the Me Too. It was you no know, stuff in the military, you know, the drill sergeants and the company commanders and 
whatever. But so it's like no, this is these are laws that any job you make down on all the way up to whatever the fuck you working at Congress, these laws apply. Alright. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I look it up, she could be right. But they go still slip up. And that's why, like I said, I post these videos because I know these idiots, just like the dude in the motorcycle, they're going to they gonna keep on. And like I said, they, they're they trying to, they really, it's like their feelings, <laughs> their feelings are, they're trying to prove who, who I'm, we're just as smart as you. I was like, okay, man, come on, all right, let's do it. Let's do it then. And not only I'm smarter than you, I'm going to break your fucking, well, anyway, that's it for the, for the night.